I have this web product right here. And if I want to get this terrorist, what does terror gets terrorist do exactly? It just gives me some information about the modified files. If I modify something, once I do this get terrorist right here, it will give me that I have modified something on a specific file. Okay, let's just do that and then modify the index.html and they will add some text. Okay, let's just add first, first program. Okay, and I'll just open the CSS file and I'll open this main CSS and then add the body, background, go for red, save that. So I do two modifications on the index.html and the main.css file. And to see that, once I just type git stairs, you see here that it show me that I have two modified files, the main.css and the index.html, but they are not staged for commit. And to stage this, the modified files, to, to be ready to commit. So in this case, I need to use the git add dash all. If I, if I use this git add dash all means that I need to add everything, this main.css and index.html file into the staged area so that can that I can commit the changes. But if I just wanna add one file, I can go for the CSS main.css file and for other ones, but in general, I would just add everything here. And once I do this at all, now if I run get stairs again, you'll see that the change should be committed. They are ready to be committed. Now I just need it to do that. Commit M, then I will just need to type a message for my commit. So on this case, let's just use update index.html and main.css. You need to be more explicit because this is just a normal change. But in general, you need to be more explicit on this message because you will use them when you need to navigate through some commands and get some information on how this this person is doing that or whatever. But it depends. So this message need to be this messages need to be explicit in general. Okay. Now let's just get commit that. But you see here update index.html and main.css to a fail change. So I commit the changes. Now, if I rerun get status again, you see that I have here another message, which tells me that your branch is ahead of your origin master by one commit. What that means exactly. Okay, let's just do that again. If we check here, the remote repo, you see that I have only one commit, initial commit. But here in this web project, we have two ones. The first one, which is the initial commit, and the second one, which we already done here, is I commit by using this updated index HTML and main.css. And to to be at the same level, I need to push the to push the modification or push the commit into this, this remote repo. And to do that, I just need to use this git push. Then you you git push your origin master. Now let's just enter hit enter. And, and that's done. Now, if I just reach that, we'll see that I have another commit now, update index.html and main.css. And if we check a look right here, you see that I add this background and this first program. And now I have this web project. If I just retype type again, get stereos. So it will tell me that your branch, your branch is up to date within your origin master and nothing to commit. So I have nothing to commit. Everything is at the same level. So the local one is at the same level as the, the remote one.